welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at a really cool monitor. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Now, I'm not big on unboxings, but let's take a quick peek. You do get the monitor, which is on the bottom here. You get a power, uh, power adapter for it that's got a USB plug on the back. You get a couple of different uh, USB cables, and you get an HDMI cable. The only thing I found missing from this setup is we need an adapter, can't remember exactly what it is, HDMI to mini HDMI or micro HDMI or whatever it is on the Raspberry Pi. I did have to pick up that adapter separately, but everything else was included in the box. For size comparison, this thing is just a little bit larger than my 13-inch MacBook Air, and it's just a little bit thicker as well. But all in all, this is a super compact monitor to take with you, either to run your Raspberry Pi, or I'll show you something else that I plan to do with it here in just a bit. It's a 15.6 inch monitor with a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1080. But I have found that this thing works really, really well with the Raspberry Pi. I also like the fact that it can be powered by a single USB C type connector. And I've been plugging that up either to the wall board or I've been utilizing the USB out on the Buddy Pole Power Mini 2 which has had no issues running this particular monitor. And guys, I will leave links down in the description below if you're interested in taking a look at this monitor. Now, one question for us as portable operators is how much power does this thing draw? And you saw when it first came on, it was drawing around 0.42 amps, and that is with an image on the screen. Now, I'm going to allow it to go into screensaver mode, and you'll see that that reduces power consumption to 0 0.05 amps. Now, this is from a 12 volt source, so you'll see my battery voltage right now is around 13.89 coming off the lithium iron phosphate battery, but it is a very minimal power draw for such a large monitor. I do want to give a shout out to Rotom for sending over this monitor in exchange for a video review. Now, in addition to connecting up the monitor to the Pi, I also connected up a couple of my favorite uh, keyboards and mouse and had absolutely no issues whatsoever. This made for a fantastic little setup while portable in the RV. Now, I will admit that a 15.6 inch monitor will be overkill for a lot of you. But at the other end of that spectrum, a 7 inch monitor just won't cut it for me. I need a minimum of a 10 inch monitor. The older I get, the more I find that my eyesight just won't allow for the use of those little bitty monitors for extended periods of time. A short outing may be okay, but uh, when we're talking a four, five, six hour outing, that's just going to strain my eyes a little bit too much. So I prefer the 10 inch monitor. But I also know some guys want a much larger monitor that's just easier to work with. And that's where a monitor like this at 15.6 inches is just absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that you can run it off of a single USB input. That makes it super handy to power this in the field. Now, in addition to using it with the Raspberry Pi, let me show you guys another way that I use this, and that's using it as a second monitor for my Mac. I love working with dual monitors. I have a dual monitor set up at home, but carrying a kind of a full-size desk type monitor in the RV is just not very convenient at all. Being able to power this one with a single USB-C connection, yep, that's USB-C coming out of the MacBook Air, feeding into the new Rotom 15.6 inch monitor. Uh, and with that single cable, I get not only power for the external monitor, but I also get the video feed over that single USB-C style connector. And this is probably the way I will utilize this monitor the vast majority of the time. In fact, this is the setup that I'll be editing this very video on. So whether you're looking for a nice large display for your Raspberry Pi or a second monitor for your laptop when you're out and about, 
This monitor is really, really slick. I hope you found this information helpful. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3. Or I've been utilizing the USB uh, output of the PowerPole Mini 2. It's not a PowerPole Mini. The older I get, well, the more I find that my eyesight, the, 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 I, 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 I